Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Angelie Walker. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Tuesday, November 16th, 2021. Now, let's take a brain break. Now, let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Thank you, Angelie. Sports fans, Lewis Hamilton produced one of the greatest performances Sunday at the Formula One Grand Prix race in Sao Paulo. Hamilton started the race in last place on Saturday, then was moved to 10th position on Sunday before the race. He worked his way through the grid before hunting down and catching up with his rival Max Verstappen for an awesome victory. He said, this has been one of the best weekends, if not the best weekend, I have ever had. Hamilton has proved time and time again that he is the one true king of racing. Now let's go to Destiny for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is turkey and cheese sandwich, mixed veggies, diced peaches, and your choice of milk. Students, there is a shortage of sports, so they can only be given to the students that are purchasing lunch. Scholars, please let your teacher know if you'll be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Angeli. Thank you, Destiny. Patriots, we have an ugly sweater party on December 16th. It starts at 6 p.m. and ends at 9 p.m. This party is for all the middle schoolers. It costs $15. This includes music, food, games, and amazing prizes. Make sure to pay by December 13th. Students that receive a referral from November 3rd to December 16th will not be able to attend this party. Administration will review behavior <laughs> prior to dance. Make sure to save up your money so you can go to the dance. I hope to see you there. Sports fans, girls soccer tryouts are on Wednesday, December 8th. The minimum requirements are a GPA of 2.0 or higher. You need to turn in your permission forms and physicals, and you need to be in the fifth grade and up. Good luck! Patriots, we have started a fundraiser for Epic Sports Fun Day Color Run. If you raise at least $30, then you can get a t-shirt and a color run entry, and if you raise more money then you can get more prizes let's raise money so we can go to the color run and tomorrow the first round of prizes will be passed out and patriots tomorrow is fun day pep rally where the first round of prizes will be passed out to all students who have met the first goal of 150 dollars scholars today is kindergarten to second grade honor roll sports fans our girls basketball team has a game tomorrow it starts at 4 p.m and takes place at r a s g Let's try to cheer them on at their game. Let's go, Patriots! And today, our boys' soccer team has a game. The game starts at 4 p.m. and takes place at Cooper City. Let's go, Patriots! Scholars, our high school fair is tomorrow. This event is invite only. This is where magnet programs come to our school looking for students that fit their qualifications to have a spot in their high school. Now let's see what the weather is going to be like today with David. Hi, hey, Patriots! Today's weather is looking to be 81 degrees with sunny skies. Also, it was very cold yesterday morning, so don't be surprised if it happens again today. In other weather news, heat waves are very dangerous and hot. Heat waves are a series of constant sun rays beaming down on the earth. Did you know that these heat waves are so hot that they can turn grapes into raisins while still on the stem? They also can turn train tracks into strands of melting or bendable metals. But don't worry, because these tracks always turn back into solids. Now let's learn about today's weirdest but true fact with Malik and Sonia.
Thank you, David. Good morning, Patriots. Here's this week's weird but true fact. I'm Sonia. And I'm Lee. Did you know that birds can't live in space? So why can't these flying creatures go beyond Earth's atmosphere? It's because of the lack of air and gravity. Without these two main components, the birds cannot survive out there. Birds need air to breathe and gravity helps birds follow, which is very vital to their survival. Vital means something important or necessary. But there have been birds in space. American astronauts have brought chicken embryos on space on a discovery flight for experimental purposes. I guess the birds have to stick to the stratosphere. That's it for this week's weird but true fact. Thank you, Malik and Sonia. Today's birthday boys and girls are Owen Reyes, Derek Roll, Brian Nguyen, Helen Roa, and Yanelis Valadon. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Angeli. Patriots, here are your pads' expectations. They represent present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Santori, Ms. Stone, Ms. Newton, Ms. Blanc, Ms. Onley, and Ms. Moran. You had the correct answer, to, which was, which country has the largest area of land? The correct answer is Russia. Teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question. How much salt does the average human body contain? Teachers, Please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before at 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a terrific Tuesday, and don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!